So there's, there's kind of two different issues here. There's a difference between a woman being a pastor and a woman, you know, preaching or, you know, teaching God's word or speaking. So um, we believe that Paul, in writing to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 2, that he lays down a prohibition that women are not to be the the overseers of the church, which we commonly refer to uh, overseers as pastors today. So a woman is not to be the pastor of the church, uh, but I don't believe that that means that a woman can't uh, preach or, or speak, uh, you know, to a church. So I think there are two different things. Uh, clearly, Paul prohibits uh, women from holding the role of, um, you know, the spiritual leaders of the church because he goes on in the next few verses and he says that if any man desires the office of the overseer, he desires a good work. And then he describes the qualifications for the overseer. So the qualifications are that they are men, that they are, uh, you know, married to one woman, and he goes on with a list of other things. So, uh, but as far as women speaking or preaching, uh, we have examples. Paul writes to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 11, he speaks of women prophesying in the church. Prophesying is speaking God's word. He says that they're doing it in the church. And um, so there, there doesn't seem to be any in my opinion, in any hard, fast reason to believe that a woman can't, you know, speak to a mixed uh, group of people like you would have in a congregation. Thanks for listening to Pastor's Perspective. We're here Monday through Friday answering your questions on Christian living, the Bible, just about any subject. Join us next time and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pastor's perspective. The preceding was sponsored by Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, California.